His expectation would be to get this within the length of the flagstick from the hole. Hey, look, somebody out drove us to the... That was a really cool shot that he hit right there. I love the speed that he had through it. Well, we I don't know if he opened the face just a bit, but that was that was fun to watch. It's a back left hole location here for Sung Jay. Up the hill. Beautiful looking swing. Oh yeah, he's gonna love it. Yeah, Great good. spot to leave that. Good look for his fourth birdie of the day in this after. And Hadley, even par in the early going here. Mm, and about to move to one under. 394 yards. And they are taking aim. The tenth. And Sloan coming up the hill here for birdie now. Five under through nine. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Six under through ten. Was a show. Yeah. Um, wedges and greens on the greens. Tom Hoagie at 11 with his second. Oh, that's beautifully done right there. Using those sideboards, which you can here at this golf course. You see Paul Eamon a little left there with his feet, left edge of the green with his feet there. That's a cut swing as well. Oh boy, is that pretty. This is all over it. We'll get down, otherwise Johnny's going to get a miss. <laughs> What a I don't golf know, he's shot. telling it Still to get is. down. We need to talk to him. It's part of his training. <laughs> right, bit of extra right shoulder up the ninth. Yeah, well done. Oh, oh wow. very well done. Uh, Chase. Chase and one home. It is college golf at Florida State. Find the tee and find the green and, you know, basically as natural as possible is wonderful. Hoagie at the 12th. So we got two little plateaus on 12, one at the front, tiny sliver, mm. almost like the size of a American football or a, a rugby football. Maybe chip this one in, salvage par here at 13. <laughs> he can do exactly that. It was not pretty, <laughs> but it's a fist pumping chip in par for Keith Mitchell. That, 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 that made that, all the difference. That, we basically, <laughs> I shut up and CBS won. How wonderful is that? <laughs> and the moth didn't even move. Is it a moth or a, be a butterfly? Does your moth bite? Listen, it's all about yeah. it's all about staying in the moment, as you know, Nick. In live television, Bryson DeChambeau, Morikawa twice, Ron Thompson, Justin Thomas, now the eagle putt for Sung Kang. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, oh hello. Oh. Only 300 degrees, but I'll take it. <laughs> 18 plate is the second hardest hole yesterday. Big downhill, and then you're hitting back uphill on your second shot. That is a beauty. Wow. What a golf shot that was. No wonder he's leading, hitting shots like that. And he was a single sport guy. I bet that was a single focus golf. Well, this one's nope. focused at nope. the flag at high. Oh, almost rung the bell for the albatross. What, what a great play there. That was fantastic. Yeah, she seems to be flying just fine. Boy, wow. is that a good shot. Wow, what a golf shot. How about getting the height on that that he did over that downhill line? Really cool. And this is coming up that same slope. Maybe, how about that? That's amazing. See that turn left at the end? I never, from this angle, would have guessed it. I know if I'd asked John, he would have said it, but. Fades that wander into the rough end up with a much better lie than hooks that wander into the rough. Because from 240, you should not have a shot at the green, and he's able to take dead aim here. Watch this one. If it gets all the way to the back, it'll turn back around. There it goes. Oh, you called it, McGinnis. Almost like you're a member this is here. A beauty. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Everything's better with a fade or a cut, John. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. That would be a six iron for him. Really needs something good to happen here. 
That'll curve back in. Does it have enough speed? I think it does. Look out, hole. Oh, what a nice play there. Fantastic. And up to the eighth. Rafa Cabrera Bale, his second. See there, 115 yards. Got a little sideboard here to the right of that flag. You can use it and bring it back down. Oh, go in. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. Might have just found it right there with that swing. Maybe so. Like you said, sometimes it only takes one swing feel. Last time with a long iron, he overcooked it to the left. Let's see if he directs it. This looks a little better, Charlie. Yeah, that might be flag hunting right there. Yeah, How what about a play. those three shots? Three of the best we've seen here all day. Mm, that, that's certainly the best I've seen today. Adam Long at the ninth. Go yeah, a little bit more like I like, a little old school. Get it on the green and let it yes. leak. See, it works. When will these youngsters listen? They're going crazy. Cameron Indoor. This is not position A right here. He's gonna have to manufacture something to get this thing even on the green. Boy, he did. Oh, wow, that is a fantastic shot. My goodness. Oh, my. Oh, How good is that? Oh, Woo. It was right all the way, Parker. <laughs> Apparently, he likes nasty. And now to the 13th. And Munoz with a little bump and run. Keep going. There you go. More than one way to make a birdie at 13. Mm, beautiful shot. Best of the day delivered into the 16th. Brian Stewart. Harold Varner at the second. Oh, that was a nice clip. Really good motion there. How about it? How about it? Oh, yeah. Harold Varner. If you're going to get it going today, this front nine is the nine you can get it going on, and he has got it back to nine under. He won in his first start of the PGA Tour Champions. Look out. Turn for home. Let's do that, Jim Furyk. <laughs> if you can make, if you can make a 50-foot sidewinder, yeah, they're going to laugh at that one. Yeah, listen, you can hear it. Yeah. 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 Might be the way to go, taking those big divots. I can tell you, wherever, <laughs> he, wherever he practices, John, the superintendent does not like him. Furyk made a bomb on the previous hole for Eagle. Here from 30 feet. Oh, oh two in a oh, row. Oh, Come oh, on. Oh, wow. He's got a chance. The 50-year-old. <laughs> he, too, is selected an eight iron. That was a beautiful pass. Sounded crisp, didn't that? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. about as good Shot as it through. gets. The kick in. This is Siwoo Kim, past winner here. Yeah. Oh, go in, good thing. How about ah, that? Yeah, where'd, where'd it go, go? where'd it go? Yeah. Came here with a lead and walked away with a six. Oh, no. And his best chance to win, the old GGO. He never won here, came every year. Wow. And Kevin Kisner ain't gonna make a six from there. <laughs> Guy who won earlier this season at the RSM at Sea Island, Georgia. Actually beat Webb Simpson. Down the stretch. This is Kevin Kisner. One would think Kiz would do well around here, this type of golf course. Drive the ball well. And putt the ball well. Very nice there from Kevin Kisner. Four birdies in his round so far today. Now Harold Varner the third. Oh, he's got a great angle on the left side of this fairway. Fantastic angle. Only one birdie for Harold today against one bogey. 
looking for something good to oh, happen. Oh, 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 oh. three. We'll give him that one. That's birdie number two. 16th tee. Sunjay M. That would be perfect shot to hit it just past the hole here. Use that slope right behind it. Baby cut. You got to love the baby cut. That's how I play it. Back of the slope. There she is. Come on back down, honey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go in, you good thing. Oh, oh. it was right the whole way. Don't over, you don't see him over swing very often. Now with the chance to match Baker Finch with two ones on the scorecard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. What a cool gym man. <laughs> oh, now we get a reaction. <laughs> what a Can shot. you believe that? <laughs> that would have been the call of the decade. <laughs> I felt it. We are back here at the 16th, Ryan Brem. This might just be a big pitching wedge for him. Sound of that compression spot on. Oh, this has got a chance right here. Look out, hole. Oh. I'm telling you, we're going to get a one here. I said it. We've seen a couple. We'd like to keep it going. It races that double that he had at 11. Come on back. It's Come on. Chance. It's got a chance. You have to see one it since you called it. It has a... I didn't hit it hard oh, enough. Man. Came up just a little short. Oh, he knows how close it was. Under through the first six holes on this side. Let's go to 17. They get a chance to relax a little at 15, 16, 17 after that tough stretch. Great shot. And a great shot for Oppenheim to go 17 under. Uphill six yards. A little steeper on that one. Oh, and another unbelievable iron shot for Siwoo. He's come close to holding out four or five shots today. At the 16th hole, and Austin Cook. Dead center. Nick, the greens have been pure. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> they've, they've stood up. So I guess the rain every night flattened down every little bump. So they've, if you hit it good, it is in. We need a good belly rub right about now. I just head out there. Harold Varner. Wow, nice. Moody. Just about, just outside of the kick in. Johnson, who's drawn a slightly down sloping line. Breeze out of the like north, that. certainly freshened now. Yeah, I, think he, I think he's a type of player that likes downhill lies for that action. Yeah, I can beat that. I thought so. He lack attack. Anything with a wedge. <laughs> Big drive here. Like you said, Charlie, it looks like it, it's starting to firm up a little bit in the fairways. Yeah, I think Libiota with the big tee ball down to the bottom and the excellent approach. That's one of the best we've seen today at 18. Most underrated broadcast in our game. They do such a good job. Jim Herman. What a start for Herman. And, I mean, he just continues the red hot play. 61 yesterday. Be up at the clubhouse with her interviews. Over at the fourth. Jim Herman. Yeah, nice rolling fairway down the fourth. Oh, how about that? The wedge player. This man's been excellent. Side, Doc Redmond. Go to seven. Russell Henley has this for birdie. He shot six. Right on the 63 Nick on Saturday. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, it's been an easy <laughs> side to putt from. Anything that finishes left of the flag, not so easy. But we've seen plenty of twos if you're just to the right of the flag. Wow, where is he looking? He's going to try and use that hole of that, that right side, Ian. Yeah, he, if he wanted to, he could even go up way yeah. right like that pitch shot of Mark Hubbard's. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely putt. Yes. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what a great three. <laughs> That's the way to do it, Jim. He, he walked on the first green after shooting 61 yesterday and knocked a 20 footer in and won. So look at that for a start. That attack. And not influence history. <laughs> Let's go to 10. <laughs> Uphill second shot for Harvard. Oh, 
cut all the way in the back right today, and it's one you can, oh, I was just going to say, go at. <laughs> Some shot from uh, Mr. Harbert. Nicely done. Over Jordan Spieth. That was back in 2013. Second shot here. This is the par five. They can take it on over the lake. 245 coming in. This has plenty on it, and it is nearly perfect. What a shot. He leaves a four-foot putt for Eagle. We'll work a little to the left and get closer to this hole. That's a beautiful shot there. Leaves himself uphill. And a chance to pick up two shots. Uphill, starting to move. Yes, it's in the cup. Eagle for Sung J.M. That one swung quickly towards that hole. Varner looking at a right to left putt, 25 feet, actually straightens back up. A double breaker, and he picked the perfect line. Same deal on this one, Jim. It looks right to left and actually goes up left to right. That was a good read. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, wow. That's worth a lot. 64. Final round.